Hello and thank you for listening to this TED Talk session. Here we'll be talking about the GD32BF103, which is a RISC V based Mac controller from Gig Device. Also, we'll be looking at the ecosystem for design and development. Although the RISC V ISA is free and open source and free to download, Expertise and costs are required in the design and layout of the silicon for the microcontroller. Gig Device, who are actually a memory architect company, partnered with a company called Nuclei Systems Technology, who are a leading RISC-V core IP company in mainland China. Together, uh, they developed and commercialized the core, and this is named as the Bumblebee core. We'll also see that the instruction set supported of the Bumblebee core include the multiplication and division instructions, the code compression instructions, and also atomic instructions. So according to the RISC-V standard naming convention, this can be represented as the RV32 iMac. Although we're talking about this particular MCU uh, today, it's also worth pointing out that next year there'll be other MCU series being released from Gigabyte based on the uh, RISC V core. Also, we'll be including these high performance MCU supporting frequencies of over 500 megahertz. So, looking at the GD32BF103, uh, we can see this is a 32 bit RISC V ISA and supports system frequencies of up to 108 megahertz. In terms of the memories, uh, this supports up to 128 kilobytes flash and also 32 kilobytes of SRAM. As it's a microcontroller and not a processor, then we actually have additional uh, peripherals. So we have standard serial connectivities and also support for analog in terms of the ADCs and DACs. It's also worth mentioning that the interrupt controller this has actually been enhanced and this will actually reduce the latencies. Quite often, uh, lots of questions are asked on how does the performance compare to other well-known commercialized ISAs such as the ARM Cortex. So Gigavice, they also offer Mac controllers based on the ARM Cortex M3. And here we can see a comparison on a like-for-like -like basis where we see the RISC-V based MCU has an increase of approximately 15% on the core mark benchmark. Power consumption is also very good. In standby, we see a reduction of 25%. And for the dynamic power, we see a reduction of approximately 50%. So looking at the uh, features of this uh, MCU, as I said before, it includes the uh, memories, both the flash and the SRAM for the application code. In terms of the uh, serial connectivities, these include the uh, UARTs, the I2Cs, the SPIs, I2S, and there's a USB 2 OTG supporting device and host. There's also an external memory controller included, and this supports external memories, including NORFLASH, SRAM, pseudo SRAM, and ROM. For the analog, these are a 12 bit ADCs and 12-bit DACs, standard 3-volt power supply, but there are a number of GPIOs that actually are 5-volt tolerant. Also on this uh, MCU, there are internal clocks, uh, internal oscillators. So this actually includes an internal 8 megahertz oscillator, which is connected to the PLL and then goes off onto the clock tree for the uh, buses. This is the uh, lineup on this particular series. The part numbering, this just dictates the uh, type of uh, package adopted and also the uh, flash density that is used. So looking at the uh, ecosystem, here, although the MCU itself is relatively new and not been out for a long time, there's also been a huge increase in support tools not only from Gigabyte, but also from third-party companies. 
So these actually include the uh, software libraries, IDEs for the design and development, uh, also the programming tools, debugging tools, both hardware and software. And then of course on the hardware, we actually do see a number of evaluation boards and starter kits. And then of course on the software side of things, there's lots of uh, examples, uh, demos, uh, tutorials, and uh, code uh, demonstrations in using the uh, resources. This is uh, a few development boards from uh, Geek Device. Uh, we actually call them the evaluation boards, which you can see here uh, has the display, the connectors, and also additional uh, system resources on the board itself, such as uh, pots, LEDs, switches, external flash memories, uh, crystals, etc. And then also we have uh, what we call a starter kit, which is a, a basic board. It's typically the MCU on the board with the uh, IOs all brought out. But also on both boards, we actually include the Debug Pro, which is the in house GD link to allow for the uh, programming and debugging of the uh, MCU. Also with these boards, we actually include uh, software examples or templates, and these uh, demonstrate how the uh, peripherals or system resources are uh, set up, configured, initialized, and used in uh, an example. And these are very good templates to be used in your uh, application if you wish to do so. This is just a, a zoomed in look on a, a starter kit. So we can see here the basic, uh, the, the MCU and the IOs brought out, and of course the uh, GD Link Beeble Probe hard soldered onto the board. This is the development evaluation board. So here we're seeing the additional resources, the uh, connectors, uh, and also the uh, additional resources, such as the uh, pots and the flash memories, etc. When we start looking at the software, we also have a thing called the demo suite. So this actually includes the user guides, board schematics, but also project examples, which are complete running examples based on these uh, system resources of the MCU. So for example, there's an example using the external memory controller that interfaces to a touchscreen. There's an audio player example that's making use of the I2S. There's also external NOR flash, so we're using the SPI interface, showing examples how to read and write to the NOR flash over the SPI bus, and lots and lots of other examples using the system resources. Nuclei Studio, this is a, a GNU tools from the uh, Nuclei Systems. And as you can see here, it's based on uh, Eclipse as the front end. So it's open source and free to download this complete IDE tool. And also we use uh, OCD uh, for the uh, debug part. In addition to what Gigivice can offer in terms of the uh, ecosystem, uh, we actually see uh, a huge increase in third-party tool providers. Sega, very, very well known in the industry. Uh, the J-Link, this supports the uh, Mac controller. But also they have, a, have a, an ID called Embedded Studio, which is a complete all-in-one solution. And they have a, a Respire version, and this supports this uh, MCU fully. IAR is another very well-known third-party tool provider. And yes, they also have an IDE called Embedded Workbench. And they've also released a RISC-V version. And this also supports the MCU. They also have a Debug Probe, which is the iJet, and is also uh, supported. With IAR, they also have an academy program, and they've developed their own board. And this is based on the RISC-V MCU. And not only is it just a board with additional resources that you can see here, it also offers a, a training program. So there's lots of materials in learning to the tools, uh, configuring, programming, and creating projects. Finally, we look at other uh, partners. So there's uh, Seed. They've actually uh, have released some very light evaluation boards with graphics and demonstrating uh, developing uh, GUI type interfaces. 
uh, gig device. We also have application boards for driving uh, motors, PLDC, and also uh, looking at uh, displays as well. It's also worth mentioning that gig device uh, were also attended the uh, Embedded World 2020 in Nuremberg. And Embedded World, they actually have uh, awards and they have awards for different categories. One of the categories was the uh, hardware and Gigavice won the award for hardware product of the year. And in closing, uh, Gigavice have a dedicated website where you can view and download the deliverables, which includes the data sheets, user manuals, firmware libraries, the demo suites, and also all the uh, ID and software tools. And thank you for listening.